Friday Night Live, Mel, Breath Girl. Welcome, welcome. Just gonna have a little shake off. Hi. Shake any tension we've been holding on to this week. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a little breathe. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> we'll just join in, just gonna have a little shake off. See if anyone else is gonna join us. Really good shake. Get to your fingers, every single finger. Just give it a good shake. Get to your shoulders. Lovely shake of the shoulders and back again. Really good shake. And then we're going to have a little breathe in a minute, a few minutes of breath work. Set us up for the weekend. Okay. So let's just settle into and have a little breathe. And you can do this seated um, or laid down, whatever's comfortable for you. And um, we're gonna do some conscious connected breathing um, with a real focus on just letting go, letting go of anything that no longer serves us this week or anything a bit deeper than that. So before we get started, actually, what I thought I'd just share quickly was a, um, a nose clearing uh, breathing technique. Had quite a few clients this week have been saying they sort of feel congested and just daily breathing through their nose has been bothering them. So I just wanted to share a quick technique before we go into our conscious connected breathing. So all you do to kind of clear this airway here when you want to is a normal inhale, a normal exhale, and then you pinch your nose, and then you go up, and down, and up, and down. And just do that a few times. And what this does is create some nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. So the blood vessels in your nose just all open up and you should be able to breathe just more easily through your nose. So I, I love that little trick. I like sharing that little trick. So. I hope that really helps if you've had any kind of nasal congestion or anything in the last few days or if you've got a cold sometimes that can help too. Okay so um, now we're gonna move on and we're gonna do some uh, lovely lovely conscious connected breathing and this technique uh, we do through the mouth not through the nose. Um, we do this because it just connects you to your body just get really grounds you and gets you into your body and breathing through our nose is great through the day and it connects us to our mind, but yet yeah, we do this conscious connected breathing uh, through our mouths. And what we do is a lovely deep active inhale, and then we do a lovely soft sigh of an exhale, and we keep it connected so we don't pause at the top of the inhale, hey Charlie, and we don't pause at the bottom of the exhale, so we just keep it connected the whole time. And um, yeah, like I said, lay down or seated like me, um, hi there, welcome, and if it helps as well, you just place a hand on your chest space, hand on your belly space. <laughs> yes, good luck tomorrow, Charlie, with your marathon, and anyone else doing the London Marathon, by the way, good luck, you're amazing, really amazing, and still need to sponsor you, so I will, I will do that. Okay, so settle down, and what we're looking for is a lovely, full, deep, active inhale, so you want to be inhaling into your belly, your midsection and your chest. Hey Hamden! And then a, a soft side of exhale. So it's a passive exhale. Um, it's not an active exhale. So your inhale is active and your exhale is passive. So I'll just demonstrate. Okay. And what I'd like you to focus on this evening is how easy that was for you to exhale. It says quite a lot if you struggle to really let go of your exhale. It might relate to how generally you feel you can let go in life or, and relates to lots of things like that. So it's really interesting. So just have a few practice breaths and just see how you find it to let go of your exhale. So just have another go. So how does that feel? Do you have a fear of letting go at all? It can be related to that. 
it could be lots of things really actually but yeah keep going just see how that feels for you just letting go of that exhale hi <sighs> And do you have a need for control or a need to control? That could be another reason that you struggle to let go of your exhale. So does that resonate with you at all? So I'd really like to, as I said, focus on just letting go of anything really this week. Is there anything that springs to mind when I say letting go what do you need to let go of so is it a particular emotion that you may have been holding on to a week you might have felt frustrated angry any emotion really and it could be laughter or joy it could be something really happy that you've been holding on to so what is it you've been holding on to what is it you need to let go of right now So just keep going with our conscious connected breathing. And we're just gonna do it for a few moments. Just really connect to our bodies, really connect to that intention of letting go. I let go. Making sure you're breathing into your belly, your midsection, your chest, and then really let go, really, really let go. Gently release anything that no longer serves me. Perhaps control, I release control. Hi Emma. I gently release my need for control. Perhaps I accept there are many things that I cannot control. So just trusting your intuition. What is it that you need to let go of right now? Perhaps something has happened in the week, like a memory of, or an argument or something has happened in your family. And perhaps you need to let go of that. Perhaps any kind of resentment from an, ar an argument perhaps. So I let go of my resentment, if that rings true for you. really breathing into what you need to let go of today in this moment so just keep that connection to your breath connection to your body I choose to breathe easily and effortlessly free from worry. I trust myself, I trust my intuition. I let go of my fear. So maybe fear is something you've been holding on to this week. So time to let go of that, really breathe into that. On that exhale, just let go of that fear. I let go of my fear. So deep, active inhale, soft side and exhale, passive exhale. let go of my anger perhaps it's anger for you this week you've been holding on to some anger time to let go of that now I let go of my anger I 
I let go of my pain. It could be emotional, it could be physical. Perhaps you've been holding on to some pain this week. So on that exhale, really breathe into that intention of just letting go of any pain, whatever that is for you. So keeping that breath going, that deep active inhale into the belly, into that midsection, into that chest, and really using your diaphragm on that inhale. And then that exhale, making it really soft, making it really passive and keeping it connected. So no pausing in between your inhale and your exhale. And let go of any disappointment. So perhaps you had a disappointment this week, could be small, could be big, it doesn't matter. So if there's any disappointment you've been holding on to, then let that go. On that exhale, just let go of any sort of disappointment. I am free. I have everything that I need. I am here right now in this. Hi, welcome. Every time I breathe, I relax and I let go. I let go of anything that no longer serves me. So whatever that is for you, I've just been suggesting some things. But anything that you need to let go of now, feel free to let go what comes to you. I choose to be present. present in my body, present in my breath. I feel empowered to let go. So keep that breath going really deep, really active on that inhale. Lovely soft sigh and exhale. Just softening your body, relaxing your body on every exhale. more moments now. And now just returning just back to your normal nasal breath. Checking in with your body, checking in with how you feel. Do you feel any lighter at all? Hi Lisa. Are you feeling any brighter at all? Do you feel like you've let go of anything? I do, I definitely do, feel a bit cheerier, a bit happier, feeling quite light. So I hope you enjoyed that. Just a, a little bit of a let go, breathe today. And I shall be back next Friday with another 15 minutes. A little shake it off, a little breathe, and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Lots of love from me, bye bye.